How's it going guys? It's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys my review of the Air Jordan 1 Mid Milan. This pair dropped originally back in late February alongside the Paris Air Jordan 1 Low. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll add the link to that video down below. For this mid version, this retailed for $120 US dollars or $175 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is Sail, Light Bone, String, and Shimmer. And while these originally released in late February and sold out, there was a random release last week on Nike.com and that's where I got lucky and grabbed this pair. The Air Jordan 1 Mid often takes a back seat compared to the Jordan 1 Highs and to a lesser extent the Jordan 1 Lows. For some reason, people just don't really like the Jordan 1 Mid silhouette, but for me this Milan version is one that I actually really really like. As we take a deep dive into the shoe, you'll see how it's constructed using a wide array of materials, colors, and textures. So starting things off with the toe box, here we have this dark beige colored suede, and we have the perforations running throughout which is standard across all your Air Jordan 1s. Surrounding the outer edges of the toe box, here we have this very textured leather which almost resembles wood grain. Moving downwards we have this textured leather and it has this pastel orange look to it. Next to this where the eyelets are, here we have this dark beige colored suede, and then below this we have a very soft, very smooth sail colored leather. Overlaid on top of this, we have a grey coloured swoosh done in this textured leather and then wrapping around the top half of the back end of the shoe, this is constructed out of canvas. Below this we have that same pastel orange leather that was found on the forefoot and then debossed on the lateral side only, we have your classic Air Jordan Wings logo. On the very bottom of the back heel, you'll see that same textured leather that was found on the forefoot. This wraps entirely around the back heel and it adds some sturdiness and support for the back end of the shoe. You'll also notice it comes with this tag, which is cut out of that same material, and we have a Nike swoosh and the letters representing Milan debossed out of it. These come standard with a flat white colored lace, but they have these colored lace tips, which is a nice added touch. Underneath this, we have a full canvas tongue, which is kind of a unique look for the Jordan 1. And at the very top, we have this patch of white leather, along with this Jumpman Air logo done in this metallic bronze finish. Pulling out the insoles, so these come with a deep red colored insole with a Jumpman logo on the heel. The upper of these Jordan 1 mids sits atop this sail colored midsole, and then encapsulated within the heel but not visible to the eye, we do have a Nike Air Sole unit for cushioning. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your traditional Air Jordan 1 outsole. This is entirely done in this dark beige color, we have the circular pivot point on the forefoot, and the Nike logo in the center. In terms of how these fit, I'd recommend sticking true to size. So my feet measures as a true size 10, and I usually wear between a 10 or a 10 and a half in most of my Jordan 1s. For these guys, I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly. Sometimes I feel like with Jordan 1s, they're a little bit narrow around this area right here, but I felt zero discomfort and sticking with my size 10 was perfectly fine. Next up from a comfort standpoint, so really nothing to say here, this fits and feels exactly like all my other Air Jordan 1s, so it's going to have a very firm, very sturdy feel on foot, but it's not going to be the softest and most plush sneaker around. Finally, in terms of the quality of the sneaker, so while the craftsmanship on my pair was pretty good, I had no glue stains and no loose stitching, anything like that, but the materials used, I'd say that they look better than they actually felt. Especially that texturized leather on the forefoot and back heel, it looks really nice, but to the touch it actually feels pretty stiff. But the rest of the materials on the upper were pretty decent, they weren't amazing and they didn't blow my mind by any means, but they were solid. So with all that being said, let's lace up these Milan Air Jordan 1 mids and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. I feel like Jordan Brand did an amazing job with these Milan Air Jordan 1 mids. It's not common that I'm a fan of mid cuts, but I really like the color choices used, all the different materials. Pulling it all together, they create a really good looking sneaker. I also like that the price point on the Jordan 1 mids is pretty reasonable as well, especially when you compare it to the Jordan 1 highs. So that was pretty much like an added bonus. 
Between this one and the Paris, I still gotta give the edge to the Paris ones, but honestly this one is no slouch either, and I'm very glad to have now both of them in my collection. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about these Milan Air Jordan 1 mids. First off, do you guys even wear Jordan 1 mids? And if you don't, did this colorway specifically help change your mind? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter account at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.